Los Angeles, California. This geoprism was carjacked almost an hour ago and is still going strong. This pursuit has been going on a long time, high speeds on surface streets and freeways, and this guy is just showing no sign of letting up. Tonight, local police forces are stretched thin, covering the Democratic National Convention. So it's up to the highway patrol to run the suspect down. But the CHP has completely taken over this pursuit. The carjacker is no inexperienced punk. He's 40 years old and a repeat offender. Under the three strikes law, a conviction would mean a minimum sentence of 25 years. He knows that if he's caught, he may spend the rest of his life behind bars. Okay, picking up speed here, approaching a red light, through the red light at 80 miles an hour. So the suspect drives his stolen economy car for all it's worth. Oh, left turn, right past the patrol car, almost into the light bulb. The suspect's car wasn't built for this kind of abuse, screeching wildly around corners and squeezing past stop traffic. Up the right shoulder, very dangerous. The experienced hoodlum knows he can't lose the cruisers or the choppers on normal city streets. So he's going to the one place he could lose them all, Los Angeles International Airport. At this late hour, there is little activity on the ground. But the addition of police and news helicopters is creating an air traffic control nightmare. This pursuit coming very close to restricted airspace. At any point, we may be ordered to leave. With open lanes ahead, the suspect dodges around buses and cruises down the passenger loading zone. Crossing all lanes, he's taking these turns at very high speed. Oh, it's like his own personal racetrack down here. Then the suspect heads down to the lower levels through a rabbit warren of twisting service roads. Passing the control tower now. Knowing that any turn could be his ticket to freedom. But each maneuver pushes the limits of his stolen economy car. Almost lost control again. Oh, almost nailed that bus there. The highway patrol cruisers match him move for move, even into the thick of baggage claim traffic. That's when the suspect reaches the end of his runway. Officers have the intersection ahead completely stopped up. They still don't know if the carjacker is armed. And in this crowded area, the last thing the officers want is a shootout. They have to assume that the suspect is armed and dangerous. Then, the suspect makes a desperate decision. Okay, looks like he's going, yeah, over the curb. He's up over the curb. Through the parking lot, wrong way. Oh, almost T-bones an LAPD unit there. Within seconds, the suspect is back into free-flowing traffic, passing police units and blazing through one last bottleneck. Oh, that was another close one. Now he heads back out onto public streets, convinced that he's unstoppable. Now we're leaving LAX, and you can see the LAPD have traffic completely blocked going into the airport, but now there's nothing stopping this guy. The daredevil slingshots out of the busy commercial district, driving his stolen car into the ground. Right through the red light, he's not slowing down. The repeat offender throttles it on the wide open streets, desperate to outrun his potential life sentence. Over 105 miles an hour. But he soon learns that there's only so much abuse his stolen ride can take. Still very high speed, nothing to slow him down, he's weaving. No, there he goes, he, is, he has completely lost control. The car's tortured front tire blows, sending the suspect into an uncorrectable tailspin. Spinning around, sparks flying, this is unbelievable. Incredibly, the suspect not only survives a high-speed wreck, he bails out on foot. He's out, running CHP units converging now on his location. He may be injured, but he's still running. That's when the middle-aged hoodlum makes his only wise move of the night. Okay, enough is enough. He's giving up here. He's proned out, and CHP officers surrounding him, guns drawn. Folks, you move. Do you understand me? Officers take their positions and move in for the arrest. This wild chase is over. The lesson of this pursuit is clear. A two-time loser will do everything he can to shake his third strike. Oh, left turn, right past the patrol car, almost into the light pole. This man even dared officers to follow him through some of the most dangerous curves in Los Angeles. 
Unbelievable. Oh, it's like his own personal racetrack down here. But in his red-eyed flight to freedom, he pushed harder than his stolen car could take and bought himself a one-way ticket to disaster. He has completely lost control. Oh, right into the curb, spinning around, sparks flying. This is unbelievable. 